Well, hi Scorpio, welcome back to I Enigma Scorpio channel. This is Enigma, so I'm gonna be doing a general reading and this is gonna be smooth reading for today. Let us see some messages that you right now need to hear who's coming towards you in love, career, and a lot of other messages, money, how it's gonna be, some advice. As this is a general message, take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mercury, Science Plus, Cross Watchers. For personal readings, white spells, and premium charged pure crystals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email. And you can check out my Instagram at ionigma.in. Do follow me there to stay updated for free monthly horoscopes, feedbacks, and crystal reels. Check out all the details in the description box. I have other channels too. You can check that out. All right, Scorpio. Let's see the messages for you. Playfulness. Wow. You're feeling extremely playful right now. You just want to have fun. You want to like go out, hang out with your friends, make new friends, explore new, ex you know, um, courses or learn something, explore new techniques a lot of things like you you're pretty excited about new beginnings and you're feeling lighthearted okay and i feel like you're becoming more and more expressive about your choices what you like what you do not like and what you uh, like is what you do avoid the rest okay there is some codependency okay let me see what that is you're dealing with someone uh this person could be from a different religion this person has been playing you all this while i feel in this recent time you were the only one expressing your feelings but they kept on playing okay not in the sense that they were not hurting you it's just this person was not ready for commitment or any kind of serious relationship but there was some sort of attachment codependency you have been making a lot of efforts but there is this energy of them missing you a lot because codependency is about someone missing you, asking for forgiveness. So let, we'll, let us see who is this reading for. They could be from a different religion, different background altogether. As long as you guys were together, guys had a lot of fun. I feel this is someone that was all about money, money, money. Because I have money, the Scorpio is with me. This is the blast family that they were living in. I feel you showed them that this is not you. Okay. This person had emotions for you. But they were more about like money, money, money. So they were hiding behind material things. They were materialistic. They are materialistic. And this is one of the reasons why you left okay and now they feel an apology to be you know asked from you they want to apologize pathway big fortune and journey you're in this journey of making a lot of money this person has started to see and watch you secretly and i feel like now they can see your what they thought that you were in their life or you're interested in them because they have money or they were showering money on you or gifts on you or you expected this from this person but the truth is they now can see that you are your own path, you're your own person. You were more about love and you were not at all about money. You can make your own money and now this person respects you like never before. And you stand out when it comes to the kind of people they've dated in the past. You're completely different. Now they respect you, love you. You've taught them a lesson. There's someone that you have taught a lesson. They were all about money and playfulness. But you showed them what being a real person, a superior person is all about. And I feel that earlier they were trying to fight their feelings for you. They were running away from you. They were fighting with you. And it's also because you were trying to change their mind without even you trying to do anything. Like indirectly, your presence in their life was uh, extremely awakening for this person enlightening for this person so they had to go through a lot and there was a lot of confusion that led you to leave this person because they were not admitting that they are learning something from you and they're changing because of you but you happen to give them a biggest lesson and they started to change but they kept their mysterious side they kept the mask on and you felt like oh this person is just wasting my time i'm leaving but the truth is this person had been changing and they were trying to hide that so they could be a Taurus, they could be a Pisces, Four of Pentacles. All right, Four of Pentacles, and then we have the world. 
Oh, wow. This person sees you and they're feeling jealous. I feel this is someone that is very, very jealous of you. You know why? Because you're making your money. You are in limelight. People have been talking good about you. Maybe you guys have mutual friends and you guys have been talking of the town right now. And this person knows that you're definitely making your money and you're living your dream life or you're at a position where no one can challenge you and you have a reputation and an honor that makes you stand out and you're highly respected and a lot of people know you and that makes them feel like oh my gosh i missed out an opportunity with this person i think i misunderstood the scorpio so someone is feeling extremely apologetic that's a different story whether they're going to come and apologize or not but this person still watches you and they're codependent on you somewhere they take your energy to feel good every time they feel low they go through the chats from the past with you they think about you and they, then they try to get back normal into normal being so this person did tell you at one point of time that you're highly positive and you have an impact on this person in a positive way they're very disappointed with themselves this is someone that has their birthday adding up to seven or this is just someone that is feeling extremely um guilty for doing you wrong for hurting you they are getting their karma and they just don't know which way to go and instead of coming towards you they feel like i think it's a better idea i should be keep on moving wherever life takes me this person has lost control i feel this person has lost confidence and the zeal to get you back or to you know start things in a positive way so it's someone that is not feeling good about themselves right now you've shifted their mind i feel the way they're being brought up it's too different like the family background that they come from it's not at all spiritual and when you came in it was a big toss in their life so that is what they're trying to you know ignore so I feel like they've got their lesson and they know that you walked away from this person because they were dishonest with you. Yes, this person has been completely dishonest and they know that this is the only reason why you're not accepting their plea, why you're not reaching out to this person, why all the doors from your side is closed because this person made you cry. They hurt you. They were dishonest and you know this thing and you walked away. They think about it and they feel bad. The manipulation still not gone away. This person is so lost in their own uh, energy. They've been brought up like that. Their family background is all about politics. It's all about money. It's all about hurting. It's all about trying to get the power, you know, take charge of situations and dominate others. So this person has been grown up like that. So you are a big challenge for this person. They saw that you didn't stay and that makes them appreciate you for the person. That, yes, you've taught this person something. You definitely have a major impact on this person's life. I'm seeing they're deep inside thankful that you came into their life. They will never admit it because of their huge ego inflated. But this person is thankful from the depth. They feel like there was... They feel like you have an impact on this person's life as if you're an angel that came in and changed little things and made them realize the truth of life and then left. That's how they see you. They don't even want to spoil your life by being on and off with you. That is why they completely cut you off. Or if they want to come towards you, they know they have to have a lot of strength to face whatever you're going to say to them. They have a fear of confrontation now for what they did. Okay, this person definitely is someone that has a lot of money. This is someone that's very rich. And this person has been extremely proud of it and arrogant about it. You showed them the real place. And now they're completely dis disappointed with themselves. They don't really want um, money that much. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. All right, giving and receiving. They understand that you taught this person that it's all about equal give and take. It's not about giving and giving and giving or taking and taking and taking. It's about equal give and take. That's the law of balance. So they kept on taking, you kept on making efforts and now they feel bad. They want to give it back to you. So in a way, they're deeply apologetic 
they might not say it they are looking for an opportunity but they are just wishing that somehow there's a communication that comes from you not them so they have been thinking about you from the past you taught them how to give and take equally you were a person that came with this giving energy and never expecting anything in return whenever they think about you they feel they need to do something for you but then they stop themselves because they can't promise anything considering what they have been brought up with so that's the thing here the number 6 is definitely signifying past energy you and this person and they're highly disappointed with their actions they kept on showing their pride their ego and that is why they had to suffer through a failed relationship with someone as spiritual and as worthy as you so they know they have lost a great catch someone as worthy as a prince or a princess they should have put you on a pedestal instead they just kept on showing their pride over you and you left and they feel like a failure okay despite of having a lot of money this person feels like oh it's just of no use Scorpio. Yeah, meditation brings answers. Okay, let me have more clarity to this. This person does meditation, I feel. They do this little things to keep themselves balanced and they've also found your truth. Earlier they were just taking you as um a catch as as a casual partner as someone that was just for time pass. But now I feel the meditation has given them some insight about your true personality because they were so confused initially. They really want to talk, but they're too shy. They're scared. I'm also seeing an age difference here. They're also not extremely experienced in love. They're not experienced at all in love. They don't know how to start and where to start and how things are going to be moving forward. This person knows they have an aggressive side that you'd hate to see, so they don't want to show that. but the more they're trying to control themselves the more you're ignoring this person the more aggressive they're becoming and i'm seeing them communicating with you if not yet then in august mark my words this person's going to communicate with you they have been controlling they have been um contemplating is this the right time should i reach out is this scorpio busy will they give me time am i going to feel disappointed embarrassed a lot of things are going on in this person's head Okay, they are scared of confrontation because they know what they did. Okay, since the time you started to glow on your own, love yourself, this person feels like you guys can make a great couple. Now they want you. Now they can see you because you're shining bright. Things are not as they appear. You think that this person has forgotten you. They don't care about you. They are completely platonic and they don't have a heart. And this person is this, that, blah, blah, blah. What all on the earth you can think of negatively for this person about this person's personality. The truth is, they've been hiding themselves, okay? And now they just want you to know that I'm not as bad as you think. I know I did this. I know I did that. But there was a reason behind it. They will tell you everything. But you have to wait if you are ready to. All right. So see, and you're seeing surrender. They're right now surrendered it and let go on. I feel like right now they just don't want to put a work into this, and they feel it's just no point putting work into this because you've moved on, you've changed, you're not the same person, you're busy. That's how they see you. But. I'm also seeing this person wants to release all the grudges, all the negative thoughts that they had towards you, and they also want you to forget about the past, to start afresh. And they know that you're not going to do it. Three of Cups. They have been talking about you to their friends, and they've been. asking about oh what's happening in scorpio's life they have been getting news about you every now and then they know what's going on in your life they know you're looking for a new person you have someone new coming within 3 months time and it's most probably your soulmate or the one that you will have a beautiful pairing with and there will be a new beginning with this new person and this is someone that will cry in the corner <laughs> thinking about their failure Yes, so uh, I'm seeing you moving on, seeing your relationship happening in 3 months from now and this person feels like a loser because they only lusted you in the past. 
they feel like a big loser. They can see you being changed. They can see you no longer looking on their side. They can see you're done and moved on and you blocked this person. You have transformed fully. They don't like the change in you right now because they know that you won't accept them, but they appreciate you. Okay, this could be another Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They were more about, you know, casual stuff, okay, instead of true love. Let's see who are these signs. Confirm the signs, universe. Okay, we have Cancer. We have Leo. We have Pisces. These are the most probable Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus signs that I've been talking to you about. Let's seek an advice for you. The advice for you is you're worrying about a lot of different things that don't even exist. It's time for you to just leave the worries behind and focus on your sleep, your diet, your friendships, your goals. All right, everything will fall in place. All you have to do is just stop worrying. Yes, all the prayers are being answered. You're going to see miracles happen in no time. Wear more citrine and gold. Real or gold plated is fine. Okay. What other advices do you give Scorpio? Trust your path. You're already on the right path. Keep on doing what you're doing. Universe is supporting you. Then you're having Scorpio. Oh, wow. I'm seeing this person's energy is lingering around yours. And very clearly, this is someone that has a lot to say, but they're keeping their mouth shut. Okay? They have a desire to sweep you off. They have a desire to talk to you, chase you, bring the old times back, start all over again with a new beginning. But something is stopping them. The way they behave with you, the people in their life that stop them from coming towards you, and the fact that they have been feeling guilty. They cannot change things. That's what they feel. They feel like a failure, basically. And they think that there's going to be a lot of efforts trying to impress you because you are not interested anymore. That's how they see you. They're still interested. I'm seeing strong sexual energy coming from this person towards you. But they're not able to say it. They're not able to do anything. They think that you're lost interest. And even if they do something, they're going to look foolish, like a clown. Okay, expecting something from you. Intense passion. This is someone that feels. Okay. They feel lonely. They feel sad. They feel depressed. They could be a Virgo. They've had a sudden realization about you. This is what I'm strongly getting. As if earlier they're blindfolded. They were just surrounded by plastics. And now they know the true beauty, the truth, the authentic personality that you are. They have been missing out on that. They feel, bad. they feel bad. They feel alone, left out. They have nowhere to go, not happy, feeling low, feeling sad, disheartened, not wanting to make any efforts, trying to analyze, overanalyze things, worried over little things. Since the day you left them. This could be a Virgo. They are praying that something happens and you guys come to communication with each other. They are trying to heal themselves from you. Considering their huge ego, they don't want to make a move towards you. It's very unlikely that they will be making a move themselves. They'd rather make a move indirectly, stumble upon you, stuff like that. But this person's ego is not allowing them to directly come towards you and speak about their feelings. They're hurt. They're watching you. They're hurt. Very hurt. Okay. So this is about it. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful read. And do like, share, comment, and subscribe to I Enigma Scorpio channel. My other channels are I Enigma channel and I Enigma Hindi channel. So do subscribe to all my channels and stick around for more stuff and yes check out the link below for extended for the new video on ionigma like share comment and subscribe to ionigma scorpio and ionigma okay 
see ya bye